everything to know about Kyle Richard's ex-husband Garage. Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Garage Aljafri is the ex-husband of RHOBH's Kyle Richards. Here is everything fans need to know about the real estate tycoon and father to Farah. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kyle Richards was previously married to real estate tycoon Garage Aljafri, and fans are curious to learn more about him. While fans have fallen in love with her now husband Mauricio Humansky over the years, it's not widely known that Kyle was once married before. The Raish appeared on RHOBH once but didn't have much screen time. Viewers met Kyle for the first time when she first appeared on RHOBH in 2010. She presents herself on the show as a fun-loving mother of four with a supportive and loving husband. Before joining RHOBH and meeting Mauricio, Kyle was previously in a relationship with Garish. The two met at a Tina Turner concert, but Garish didn't speak English. Garish then asked Kyle on a date, and the rest was history. The couple fell in love and got married, and shortly after, they had Kyle's eldest daughter Farah Aljafri. However, the pair divorced after two years of marriage. Kyle and Garish are still close, with Kyle often talking about how wonderful her ex-husband is. According to Bravo TV, Garish is an Indonesian businessman of Dutch and Arabic descent. He currently resides in Bali, Thailand, working in land development and real estate, traveling to the U.S. to see his daughter and for business. Like Kyle's current husband, Garish is very successful in real estate, running a successful company in Indonesia and the U.S. coming from a wealthy Indonesian family. Garish has grown his family's wealth through his business. His mother and father are also in real estate, paving the way for Garish whose daughter with Kyle, Farah, is engaged in their company. There is very little information in terms of Garish's personal life as he is not on any social media platforms. He is described as a timid person and is always focused on his work. In episode from RHOBH Season 12, Kyle opened up about the main reason behind her divorce from Garish. She explained that the pair were madly in love. However, the stress of having a newborn and the lack of maturity put a strain on the marriage. Despite the divorce, Kyle explained that the pair remain good friends, they still care a lot for each other and always put their best foot forward for their daughter Farah. Kyle even expressed how close Mauricio is with Garish and how the two have even done business deals together. Kyle revealed in her ex-husband Garish never got remarried, expressing her sadness about this as he is a great man. Garesh did appear in two episodes of RHOB Hin 2011 to celebrate Farah's college graduation. Other than that, Garesh has remained on the down low. With little information about Garesh, fans look to Kyle and Farah for updates on the real estate tycoon. Even though Garesh likes to keep to himself, fans are eager to know how he is doing and what he has planned for the future in business and life. While the family is very close, it is nice that they still spend holidays together and are still friends after the divorce. Since Kyle, who RHOBH fans feel can be two-faced, has maintained a friendship with Garage, many hope to see him appear on another The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills episode one day. R.A.O. Babes Mauricio Humansky cringed at his behavior toward Garcelle's son. Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mauricio Limansky apologized to Garcelle Bovice for laughing at Erica Jane cursing at her son on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Mauricio Vimansky has recently apologized again to Garcelle Bouvas for laughing at Erica Jane violating her son on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Fans were vocal about their displeasure with him while filming a scene alongside his wife, Kyle Richards, and Dorit and P.K. Kimsley, where they excused Erica's behavior toward Garcelle's son at her birthday party. 
Although Garcelle didn't see the scene until the show aired, she voiced strong opinions about the situation throughout our HOBH season 12. Mauricio appeared on Watch What Happens Live, hosted by Andy Cohen, to promote his new Netflix series, Buying Beverly Hills. Mauricio addressed his horrendous behavior toward Jax and Garcelle. Gravo Vue KL tweeted a clip of when Andy asked Mauricio to explain his thoughts about laughing at what Erica said. And Mauricio gave a detailed explanation. I had not seen what happened between Erica and Jax at the time. So we filmed it, it happened. And then later on, when we watched the show, when I watched the show, I cringed, he said. Mauricio revealed that he felt bad for Garcelle and called her to apologize. The Netflix star ended his statement by saying, I apologize today, again, to Garcelle and to Jax. And it's just one of those crazy things of reality television. Although Mauricio and Kyle apologized to Garcelle as RHOBH season 12 was airing, that didn't stop even the most loyal Kyle fans from holding her accountable on social media. Initially, the RHHOBHOG defended her position by declaring she was laughing at her friend's behavior rather than a child being humiliated. Still, after viewers started to perceive her as the show's villain, Kyle recanted her statements. This was not the first time during RHOBH season 12's airing that the Bravo fan base would come for the reality star online. An earlier scene where she would question her co-star Sutton Strack's miscarriage sent fans into a frenzy. The number of messages she received led her to release a statement before the episode aired, telling viewers she apologized to Sutton almost immediately after. In the Real Housewives franchise, a certain level of influence comes with being one of the show's longest-running stars. Many believe Kyle received a great edit from the show's production team for the RHOBH's first 11 seasons. Due to her longevity, fans felt she was always shown in a favorable light. After behind-the-scenes changes were made this season, viewers could see a different side to Kyle. Based on her multi-stop apology tour throughout RHOBH season 12, it's likely Kyle could tell as well. Kyle's most recent fight with her sister, Kathy Hilton, has left the fandom to pick a side, with many choosing Kathy's. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12 reunion special had one of the most frigid endings in the show's history. The reunion, where the housewives discuss the season's most pressing storylines, typically ends with some resolve. However, this year, the cast dispersed without speaking to each other. Kyle was the first to leave the set, visibly upset after watching Kathy and Lisa Rinna argue over their issues, with the rest following shortly after. Kyle's rough season and emotional reunion have left viewers wondering if she will return for RHOBH season 13. Being a Beverly Hills staple, her absence would majorly impact the cast. However, the rest of the cast stir up enough drama with each other to keep the show going. Why was Brandy's secret about Adrienne on RHOB Season 3 bleeped out? Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Back on RHOB Season 3, Brandy Glanville shared Paul Nassif, and Adrienne Maloof's very personal business, leaving Bravo fearing litigation. On The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills back in 2012, Brandi Glanville threw personal shade at Adrienne Maloof and her then-husband, the one and only botched doctor, Paul Nassif. Long before Aspengate, RHOB was only in its third season, and Alexia Umansky was gifted her first car. Ken Todd was on his second hip, and Vanderpump Rules was about to be hatched. One thing that stood the test of time is Brandy's tendency to spill secrets. During a menu tasting at SUR on RHOBH Season 3, Episode 6, Brandy started going in on Adrienne. Lisa Vanderpump and Adrienne already had beef, and Brandy was ready to tenderize it. After a bullet list of digs at Adrienne, Brandy dropped a bombshell secret that Bravo was afraid to screen. While the table's reaction was on display, Adrienne's secret on Brandy's lips was precisely muted. Some speculated that the allusion to T could be the abuse allegations against Paul. 
However, the most popular theory behind the editing mystery is that Brandy spilled the beans on Adrian and Paul using a surrogate. The couple wanted to keep it a secret to protect their children from unwanted scrutiny. Paul called Brandy's comments completely defamatory, and Adrian threatened the lawsuit. Brandy and Adrian's relationship was more or less fine before RHOBH Season 3. After watching other reality stars like Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, and the Real Housewives of Atlanta's Candy Burris conceive children via surrogacy on camera, no less, it's hard to imagine surrogacy being so taboo. However, 2012 was a different time than 2022, and to this day, surrogacy and pregnancy remain incredibly personal topics, in certain states at least. While Paul's tenure on Botched was longer than Adrienne's on RHOBH, her impact on the show has a significant legacy. Brandy's reveal, however, may have been a major factor in her exodus. In the modern day, RHOBH fans probably know Brandy for her friendship with Kim Richards and her entanglement with Denise Richards. The former housewives are not related. When Brandy once again spilled the beans on camera of an alleged affair between herself and Denise, it became a significant factor in Denise leaving the show. Bravo may have avoided a lawsuit from Adrienne and Paul by cutting the audio about their surrogacy decision. Yet, when it came to Denise and Brandy's potential philandering, there weren't enough Bravo Bravo Bravos in the world to keep Denise's secrets safe. Brandy gets a bad reputation for being messy, but the provocative housewife has earned her stripes by being unfiltered, something that's sorely missing from the real housewives of Beverly Hills today. Brandy might merit a re-entry status as a friend of the show. Brandy joining the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip Season 2 proved there's more gas in her engine. Now that Adrienne's twins are almost teenagers, maybe it's time she too rejoins as a friend of to clear the air about the age-old secret and shine a new light on her family for all the right reasons.